It's Wolf, and it's another First 15. This is Mars. So I already did a first impressions video on this game, so my, like, intro thoughts section on this First 15 isn't going to be that long. Also, I really want to make sure to get this First 15 done, like, soon, because I think it only has a little over two weeks left in beta, and I still have two more beta keys to, to give away, so... Yeah, I want to make sure that I can make this video, like, quickly. And as for the beta key thing, just like in the first impressions video, I'm just gonna have the beta keys just, like, hidden in the video, so you'll just see, like, you know, numbers and letters that look like a key pop up on the screen. There will be two hidden in this video, and then that is it for all of the beta keys that I currently know that I'm in possession of. So anyway, Mars, this game you guys have probably known about if you follow my channel because it's it's something that has kind of been brought up a couple times. A couple months ago I made that video about how to still play Zombies, Monsters, Robots, ZMR. It's also called Mercenary Online in some areas because that was a game that was on Steam but shut down but you can still play it on Excesso Cinco which is like a Latin American games distributor. Long story. Anyway, there was a bunch of people that still wanted to play it and the game publisher Suba Games went in the comments and was kind of telling everybody that there was this new version of the game called Mars that was coming out eventually, and it finally did come out. So, Suba Games was not at all lying. It is pretty much a new version of ZMR, which is awesome because if you like ZMR, then you'll like this, because it's pretty much the same game. So overall, I've had a pretty fun time with it. It's nice to be able to play like ZMR again in English now, and it also seems to have, seems to have actually kind of a surprising number of players for still being in beta. I mean, I played it like right when it came out, like right when the beta launched, I think within the first hour of it, and there was tons of people playing. So it seems to be pretty popular, which is nice. Also, in the first impressions video, I didn't really compare it to any other games or anything, but when I was recording the gameplay for this, I kind of thought of one comparison that I think is kind of accurate. Well, for one, a lot of people compare it to Gears of War because the gameplay is kind of like Gears of War, so if you like Gears of War, you might also like this because the gameplay is really similar in, like, the controls. Well, I mean, it's a PC game and Gears of War is, like, an Xbox game, but, like, it's, it, like, the controls and stuff, the way stuff works kind of does work the same as Gears of War. I've played, like, a tiny bit of Gears 5 on a free weekend, and so yeah, they are similar in in a lot of like gameplay mechanic ways but another comparison that popped into my mind while I was recording this footage was actually The Division. So The Division is different in a lot of ways because it's open world and it's like got really great graphics and you know much more popular than ZMR and everything and came out from like a more well-known publisher and developer and everything but the general gameplay of Mars does kind of remind me of The Division. So if you liked The Division, especially because it's free to play so you're not really losing anything by checking it out, so if you like the division I would yeah definitely check out Mars and see if if you like it anyway though I do kind of want to reiterate a couple things I brought up in the first impressions video that were negatives and then also kind of go more in depth on something I kind of completely forgot to mention in the first impressions video so I'm going to try to if I remember to link the first impressions video in the description of this video so there will be even more detail in that one if you want to hear more about these specific things but for one the game definitely needs some more settings there isn't like a 1080p resolution option the windowed and non-windowed option is kind of broken like regardless of if you have it checked for windowed or unchecked for windowed mode it's always in windowed mode it seems and the resolution thing i think is just really strange in particular because like zmr has a 1080p mode like the tesso cinco version of zmr has a 1080p mode and a full screen mode and everything like everything in that works so it's like i don't really get how like this version has less options than the original version, so yeah, that's definitely an area that could use improvement. And then also, the process of getting the game right now is kind of a pain because after you enter in a beta key, then you have to download the Suba Games launcher, but the weird thing is that when you download the Suba Games launcher, the game of Mars actually downloads separately. So like, you download the launcher and then you download the game through the launcher, but then you don't actually need the launcher to play the game anymore. And the other weird thing about the launcher is that the terms and agreements for it have stuff about that like game server service thing, what the fast in them, despite the fact that Mars doesn't require what the fast or like there, there's not, there doesn't appear to be like any mentions of what the fast anywhere. So I don't know if maybe they like reused that somehow or something even though Suba Games doesn't seem to be associated with What the Fast. So that's also kind of weird and like I said in my other video, if you download 
Mars, I would suggest going through the launcher and everything and then just deleting the launcher after you have the game installed because you don't need it anymore. So yeah, overall there's just some oddities with the launcher and I think that Suba Games really ought to just get rid of the launcher in the process of this because most people are probably going to play this through Steam and I can't imagine that they're going to want you to download the Suba Games launcher through Steam because it's like you're launching a launcher through Steam which is just kind of redundant and it's not necessary because the game clearly works without it even being installed so I would suggest that they definitely ought to just streamline the process and just give you the game download right off the bat and especially if, if they do plan on doing like putting the launcher on the Steam version that's that's a very not good idea because people are not going to want to deal with two launchers just to get into one game. Then lastly something I kind of forgot to mention in the first impressions video except for in like a little sort of text box that popped up. The in-game store is not very good right now and definitely needs some work because it there's 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 no real reward for playing at the moment. So the main issue is that the missions themselves don't actually have bad payouts, but the issue is that the store, the way that the in-game currency is treated in the store just doesn't work very well because it makes it challenging to acquire anything of real significance in the game, which I think kind of disincentivizes people from playing because it's not really pay to win, but it's kind of like pay to improve because the, the thing with Mars and also ZMR, like the base weapons that you get at the beginning of the game are pretty powerful. Like they're, they're good enough to get you through most of the missions and stuff, especially if you're playing with multiple people. But the way it operates right now, the store for the, the currency you earn from missions only has rentals available in it. So you can only rent weapons from that store. You can't actually permanently buy anything, which I don't think is a very good idea because I don't think anybody really particularly likes rentals in video games. I mean, it's a digital item. You you know, you're, you're literally, I mean, as it is, whenever you buy a digital thing, you're not really getting anything, but especially when you're renting a digital item, it's just weird. And I mean, it kind of works in some games and it makes sense. Like it was in ZMR and it was like, it was an option, but I think that people also really need to have that option to permanently purchase things with the currency from missions or else you're going to get a lot of people that are just going to get really bored really quickly. Along with that, I think that the mission currency store also really really could use more like cool weapons because there's ZMR and Mars. One of the big things about it is that there's just like so much stuff in this game and the weapons are no exception. There's a bunch of just really like unique and cool weapons and stuff, but the issue is that a lot of them are locked behind the paid like the real money currency and that's kind of annoying because again it sort of disincentivizes people because it's like then you can't buy any of the the really unique stuff it's like you can only buy the guns that you can use in any other shooter game so i think that they definitely also need to add in some of the more unique weapons of mars and i think that a good way for them to do that like not necessarily to just dump a bunch of them in there but maybe do like a rotating cycle thing where like every week maybe there will be a new set of cool unique weapons that you can buy using the the mission currency and stuff but yeah that's that's definitely an area that needs some improvement and I completely forgot to talk about it in the first impressions video. So anyway, I originally didn't think I was going to talk for this long, but now it's been like 10 minutes. So yeah, I guess it was like a normal first 15. Anyhow, here's the rest of the gameplay footage. Like I said, I do enjoy the game. I think it's pretty cool and it's nice to see ZMR in a new version that will hopefully continue to be updated and supported and new content and stuff added. Like hopefully it'll kind of bring the game back to life a little bit again. But anyhow, here's the rest of the gameplay. Hope you guys guys like it and bye bye
Accomplished. 